Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, we're gonna do a nice, relaxing Eden run today. And uh, maybe it'll go a little better than the last two. Little gish, jump, we got the bowl cut. So, I mean, the run's already over before it started. Uh, and that was the seed, and you know, there we go. So, little gish, slowing tears, jump, gives us some invincibility frames, and lets us jump over stuff, cross gaps, and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to forget about it, so I'm going to be like, hey, I wish I could get this so-and-so over here that I can't reach, and then I actually can because I have jump. But I'm just warning you now, I'm going to forget, and I'm not going to get something that I can actually get. So if my soul heart's already gone. Um, deaths are progress and stuff, so that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but I would like to not die, and in fact, see where this bowl cut is taking us, because of course having the bowl cut means that the run is going to win in a glorious and obscene fashion basically the game will essentially surrender itself turn over dead and then uh, just kind of like give you everything just because of this haircut that's really all there is to it I would love to go in the curse room but I obviously can't do that right now of course since I have the bowl cut I'd probably get away with it get soul hearts in there or like better yet I would get uh Ceremonial robes. But I'm not going to rely on that. Oh, see? Holy Mantle. Now I can just go. Because I can get hit once in every room and it doesn't count. And that includes walking in and out of cursor. And see? I told you it would have worked. Really. I, I, I could have gone for it. And I knew that. But I just... I don't know. I didn't want to take the chance. What if I didn't know that? Anyway. Uh, bowl cut doing its thing. You think it's a myth, but it's it's true. It's very, very true. My damage displays low in the stats. But the stats are pretty meaningless, mostly. Uh, it is kind of low, but it's not that bad with my fire rate, and I have little gish, so it's not the end of the world. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably be able to make this one work pretty easily. Not that we'll have to. Again, everything will just fall into place without me having to lift a finger. Which technically I don't really have to anyway. I don't have to, like, lift a finger. I just have to let the key push the finger back and it'll still be on the key. But it just won't be fully pressing it and whatnot. But you know what I'm getting at. I won't have to exert any hard work. Speed up, size down, and a pill. Just 48 hour energy doesn't matter right now, but good to know for later, perhaps. I didn't forget to jump to anything last floor, so that's a plus for now. Spider baby, when I get hit, I spawn spiders. Those do two and a half times my damage. Not bad to have, but that obviously won't work with... Holy Mantle, because Holy Mantle doesn't count as getting hit. So, it's not going to be as useful as it could be, but that's okay. It's uh, not the most important thing that I can pick up. It doesn't hurt to have. But also it doesn't matter to have, in a lot of cases. Sometimes it's great. This is a long floor. Oh gosh, Holy Mantle activated. End of the world right here. Bomb, sure. Poop Trinket incoming. Don't make me a liar. I'm a liar, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Backtracking through this floor would be a hassle. I don't know if I'm going to. But I should. Pin shouldn't be a problem, and then we get a double room, and then everything could be great. Could be. Oh, I didn't move in time. Are you sure about that? And that was the second time I've been hit this room? How could you? 
Health up and luck up. Perfect. Dork bomb. I guess so. Picks up red hearts. Every one and a half red hearts it picks up. It uh, drops a soul heart, a black heart, a friendly or enemy spider. So I guess I should clear this floor. Just uh, for fun. And for hearts and such like that. This is a weird floor though. Bombs, good to have. Pride, good to good to fight, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Easy at least. Two of clubs doubles my bombs. Oh, look at this jerk. It's fine, I have holy mantle. Two of clubs doubles my bombs. I think I said that already, but don't worry about it. Now you know twice as well. Next time I only have to say it half of the time. Because apparently these things work multiplicatively. multiplicatively. Anyway, I'm going to drink some water. One moment. in good shape, I guess. So this is when gaps are going to start mattering. Uh, hey, look, a gap. I can jump over it, reminding myself more than reminding you. Because you all don't have to talk and play and everything at the same time, and you'll remember because, you know, at least one of you will remember. So... You know, there, there are things that are easy to forget and things that are less easy to forget, but still easy to forget. Because I'm never really looking up there when I know I don't have a use item with charges. That doesn't matter whether it's an infinite use item or an item with, uh, or no item at all. But if I know I don't have an item with charges, I don't look up there. I'm like... It's kind of there in my sight when I look at my health, but it's also really not. So, it's just one of those things. I gotta remind myself because I'm not paying attention to it and I'm not going to. Okay. This looks fine, everything will be easy enough. That dude's half health. Give me a key. You didn't give me a key. I like the great champions. They're all... I'm gonna have half health and a very high key drop chance. You like that? It's like, actually, yes I do. That's very nice of you. Alright, dude. Thank you. Guess I'll find out what that is. Oh, well, this has been a really straight floor as well. So I don't have to worry about that too much. Okay. That's fine. We got spider baby. Hope that felt terrible. Peeper bounces around 8 damage per hit to enemies and uh, blocks tears, as it turns out. Why didn't that hit me? Why didn't those hit me? Like, Holy Mantle's not doing it. But that's not Holy Mantle. They're just straight up not hitting me. Hive Mind is happening. Thank you. Doubles the damage of flies and spiders. So four and five times my damage, respectively. So that's pretty sweet. Alright, I was feeling like these fires were going to be nice, but I guess not. That's fine. Mega Maw, no problem. See, look at it blocking tears and being all beastly and whatnot. Doesn't even matter that it's not hitting. That's fine. 
I appreciate that it blocks tears now and doesn't push my bombs like it used to. What a scum. Used to be such a jerk. Wasn't worth taking it before, but changes in this game. It's, there's no reason not to take it whatsoever, except an unreasonable disdain for it, which, you know, I harbor some of those. I don't blame you. That's your thing. Oops. Wanted to bomb him, so I figured uh, now is a pretty good time to use the doubling. Aw, oh, you would move. Lump of coal me. Again with the not the lump of coal, man. Haven't been cooperating recently. Is sad. It's very sad. Curse the blind. Can't see what my items are, just that they exist. Remember, this is free. Well. I'd very much like to not take any damage so that I can get out for free as well, but sometimes stuff happens. I remember that time I had jump and I actually used it for purposes. Like getting this gosh darn key and this gosh darn pill and this other gosh darn key. Alright. Range down. I did a lot of work for not what I needed. Technically this is profitable. Could get a uh, coin or a heart from that lock thing and I get the key back anyway. So there's just, besides if you can't waste time, there's no reason not to do it. Just for you, Dark Bum. I still haven't gotten any damage ups or anything. But the game's got stuff in store for me. It's a bowl cut run, I know. Holy water. That's not what I had in mind, but... When I get hit, it spills. Damages any enemies that walk over it. Apparently some that fly, maybe. Eh. I don't see why it would. But that's what someone told me, I think. And I don't believe it. So just ignore that I said it. Okay. There we go. This should be easy enough. They're all straight shooting. Everything is looking pretty good. Look at that tier blocking. I wasn't going to get hit by that tier, but it was the closest one to being about to hit me. So, you know, my friend here is just looking out for me. Uh... Oh yeah, that's great. What are you? Sure. You can have the rest of them. That was worth. I'm not going to bomb a million times to get enough money, so I'm not going to go to the shop. Wow, I had enough invincibility to make it through that. I wasn't sure I would. I was just, like, not going to care. But that's better than not having to care. Hmm. Oh, this room is butts. I'm leaving. can't leave this room. That's fine, too. Not worried. Maybe should be. Uh, it's about time I get some damage up. You know, I know, big things in store, bowl cut, etc. But it would be nice that maybe in store meant ready for you about now. Dang. Ah. Well, five times my damage, that doesn't hurt. Took a lot of hits, but it doesn't matter. Speed up, not quite what I needed. All right, just I'm gonna drink some water again.
All right, looks like we're good. Okay, so. He's got, God, I just have no damage. And I didn't get the double room last floor, which really hurt. And I kind of needed that. Dead ended as expected of the left path. Oh, this is horrible. See, these are the kinds of dudes that I don't want to deal with at low damage. Almost would rather just let Peeper do everything. Probably be faster. Ha! Sadly, black hearts are not on top. So I can't just get hit to achieve victory. Much as I'd like to do that. No drop even. Thanks. Such a swell guy. Alright. That's a dream come true at least. Didn't have to fight tanky enemies. Please save me from my double roomless prison. I know I've gotten two, but I haven't gotten anything that makes my DPS workable. These guys take, yeah, they, oh, yeah, they do. All right, we made it through that. Okay. I will bomb. Wow, that was amazing. For the quad. Range down. Bomb for the other quad. Hermit. Hanged man, that's flight for room. I don't need that. Two of spades doubles my keys. I do need that. Can you please cooperate? Because this is really, really getting tedious. Take this. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm leaving. This is getting to be too much. The game really hasn't wanted to cooperate recently. It's just given me like no damage or no anythings in pretty much the last like three or four runs in the most ridiculous possible way. That was weird. I gotta say, that was very weird. <laughs> Definitely gotta check that out. Like, I can't even kill these guys in one cycle. You don't get here with that low damage. That's hard to do. Shooting for the blue map. Gives me both secret room locations. Good to have. Oh, I didn't use the two spades. Unfortunate. I'm not going to worry about that secret room because it might link up over here. See? I know what I'm doing sometimes. Where's his greed? I mean, that's probably why greed wasn't in the shop, I guess. But the plus side. No, I'm gonna get a steam sale too, and then I'm not gonna. Well, I could go back for the purse now if I wanted. Like, I can already afford it. It'd be good to have. It's too time consuming, I swear. Nice job. Ridiculous. Have another black heart for uses evil. 
Parasite's good. Shots split when they hit enemies uh, into shots that do half damage. Depending on positioning, I can use it to do a lot more damage, though, which is good. Fallen, that's also kind of important. Uh, gives me a guaranteed double room item. If I can have them on a wall, them being any enemy, I can do extra damage because the split tiers will split and then those will hit and it'll be fantastic. See, this is why I use um, stuff like two of spades, two of etc. immediately, because I forget to use them when it's actually best and optimal to use them. And then, you know, everything's terrible. So one damage up, three black hearts, that's exactly what I needed to see. Uh, and then Judas' is shadow, if I die, I'll revive as Dark Judas, having um, two black hearts and a 2.0 character damage multiplier. So I guess it needs to be my business to die now. So let's see if we can do that easily. This will just bypass. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna work on dying in another way then. Would have been hard to die to him. I would have just spawned spiders. Murdered. Uh, let's see what's over here. Anytime. I need to just use like a curse room. That'd be the easiest thing. It would work flawlessly. Okay, that's actually the battery for once. Allows me to hold two full charges for my use item. I used. Oh my god, I did it again. Don't care. I'm just gonna use this now. Okay, we got another one. Feel free to not immediately break this time. It also spawns me a ton of spiders, which is good. I don't have any uh, red hearts, so I won't lose my double room chance here, which is good. Um, like, for dying. Not that I would anyway, I guess, because I'm using blood donation machine, so it's fine. God dang it. Look at all these spiders, though. It's beautiful. So that's two blood bags as well, which is kind of crazy. Let's just use this to die. One soul heart and blood bag two. Oh yeah, the rocks. I always remind people of the rocks, and then here I am forgetting my own rocks. I can't be there. Just on the hunt for the item room now. So I just drastically increased my damage, which is important. I needed to do that, but I did lose a bit of fire rate because I guess I spawned with a high fire rate. So, can't win them all. Dang. All right, we're past boss rush already. But maybe something else will go our way. Give us some glorious item. Item room. Cough, cough. Alright. I'm officially out of spiders almost. Now I am officially out of spiders. Sad day. Sad moment in my history, I suppose. Yeah, I can walk through that just fine. Infamy. Chance to block any tears that would hit me. Uh, sure. You know, not a big deal.
and it, I believe, will take precedence over uh, Holy Mantle if it activates, which is cool, because that means that Holy Mantle can activate later. I don't know, I think it's cool. Eh, it's fine. Yeah, damage output's slow, but it's getting done. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go chest, because there's so much damage potential. And uh, I'm actually out of water and my throat's bugging me, so I'm gonna be right back in like a minute. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I never do this. You know that. But I'll be right back real quick. All right, I'm back with the glorious tasty water, and we can get to work. Very, very sorry about that. All right, you do your thing. This will be a little slow, and I can't just blackheart my problems away. I would, because this is a perfect room for that kind of thing. But, sometimes that's just not your solution. Key, appreciated. No tinted rocks, that's fine. So I'm following the rule of usually the top secret room leads you exactly to where the boss is. I don't know if it will this time, but it probably will because it's on the opposite side from the secret room and is far away. So usually that's a pretty good indicator. See? Uh, infamy activated before Holy Mantle there. It's cool. No, oh, it totally activated again, because I should have gotten hit there. Alright. Wow, I'm surprised it didn't shoot. I thought it would shoot. And everything would be like easy, but I just got lucky that it died quickly enough to not shoot me after not shooting before. Okay, so top secret room. Oh, good. Enjoy yourself, Dark Bomb. Alright. Okay. Dang it, I didn't- I meant to pick up the black heart last, and I still managed to pick up two before it somehow. Or two after it? That doesn't make sense. Like, I don't know how you pull that off. I don't need it. Keeping the half heart interval is technically better for the soul heart. 
What matters though is like that'll only matter if I can get rid of my red hearts and get um, scapular. Otherwise, it doesn't matter at all. That's just random. Nothing you can really do about it. The doors not quite safe anymore. All right, so this is better. Flight speed up. Technically not a speed up if you're over 1.5 uh, speed, but it's a lower bound of 1.5 on your speed. And then uh, I can do a charge attack. That also happens to summon beams of light, which do a bunch of damage if they hit anything. You know, it's got that going for it. I am generally unopposed to. I don't use it very often, because it's not very useful very often, but once in a while. Is left I was gonna say is left the right way. No, obviously not. So I don't want that. Though it would get oh that sucks. It would get me to my half heart interval, which would be good. I just don't want that much health when I already have a good amount of soul hearts and things. Oops. Pandora's box. What do I get from... Well, here I just get the Bible. But if I take it to the next floor, I'll get an angel reminder, and that sounds fun. What if I get Sacred Heart? <laughs> then I'll have another tears down, that's what. Now nah, we'll, we'd obviously be pretty happy about that, because damage... Oops. I mean, I'm not hopelessly lost. I'm pretty sure I have a very generally good idea of where we are on this map, but who knows, man. I didn't realize it. God, I always don't realize which ones do contact damage. Does Polycephalus not do... not hit you on contact? That changes almost nothing, but, like, that changes everything. Alright, slow rooms. It really sucks about my fire rate. Please help me somehow, game. This is not the bull cut run I expected. Not at all. I accidentally slipped through. I didn't even realize. I was like, why didn't I get hit? And I was like, oh, that's kind of funny. a dead end. Why is this a dead end? Why is this the right way? Stop being weird. Stupid lost floors. They just don't want to cooperate with me. Well, I was probably connected to the secret room. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it's connected to the secret room. Then again, I mean, it's not impossible. I've been connected to secret rooms that had enemies like that right next to the door, but I assume that it wouldn't want to do that, but that's assuming a lot, because the game is a jerk. Can you die? Thank you. Slow process, but gets the job done. I see how it is. Eh, that's fine. Very, very slow process. The 
point where it was actually worth using bombs. That never happens. It's probably worth taking damage just to get more freaking spiders spawned. I didn't think that hit me. I guess my hitbox is bigger than I'm giving it credit for. Devil Room's just a trapdoor. Alright. Three soul hearts, more Bibles and pools. And an eternal heart, but I don't want that. Can you not give me the Curse of the Freaking Lost again? That was very mean. Well, that was smart. Wow, overconfidence on my end here. Actually just kind of letting spiders happen. Okay, that I actually tried to dodge. I swear, the, uh... Nope. The nope. The, uh, infamy works better when you're not trying to dodge at all. Eh, nope. Right could be correct. Trust in right. I miss having fire rate. I really do. That was a nice time in my life. I'll look back on it fondly for the rest of my years. Or in this case, probably the rest of my minutes. Why did I bomb that as if I... What am I doing? Eh, may as well. Oh, that's ugly. That should have hit me. In my opinion. Cool it, guys. I don't know why I would pick left instead of right. I knew right was empty on the other uh, path. It was just an overall better choice. I... No, I didn't go back and buy it, did I? No, I'll take my speed then. Speed will be better. That's fine. Don't need that, but maybe I'll... Oh my god. Get money equals power. Actually just down again? I wish these rooms weren't so painful to fight. Because this is like an almost cool build. Alright, bro. Are we going to get a fiver? Oh, no, we're not. I'm surprised. Pleased, but surprised. You know, I'm going to pass on the tears down. Strange as that might seem. Same exact situation. Cut it out. I don't trust left, so that's fine. Should have hit me too. Game's conspiring in my favor, I think. Still gonna trust right. Making a mistake. Stop giving me the least convenient rooms to fight, though. If this isn't the right way, I'm gonna be shocked and a little bit uh, bothered. Nah, that's pretty inconvenient to fight, but I gotta. There's no other way.
Okay, I just want to kill the greeds first. Okay, see now this should be pretty easy. I hope I get like a D6. Heck, I even D100. Or D4, I guess. In, you know, relevant case. Can't bomb through in the chest, so I may as well just make this uh, effective as possible. Dude, it blocks like every single time. That was amazing. Okay, I just want to get you into the next phase and not deal with these guys at all. That was like the only thing I wanted from you. Oh my god. Thank you. That's all I needed from you. That's a good pattern. That was mean. Why would you do that? I could hurt someone. Namely me. Yep. Okay, I want here so I can get extra hits. That's working. Thank you. God, this is slow though. Oh, nice, perfect. Perfect again, good pattern. Wow, that was lucky. I knew I had to move though, so it wasn't like that lucky. That was a just good choice to move a little bit first to see if it would spawn there. That was cool, but that worked out. All right, Let's see what we got. Monster's lung, chemical peel, and Gemini. Monster's lung will be very fun. Chemical peel will increase my damage every other shot. And Gemini will be pretty useless because I don't want to be that close to enemies, but, you know, it's okay. Uh, I think that Monster's Lung would be pretty important, though. That's good. Good luck. Oh, but I don't need that. Didn't expect that. Okay. Getting one of them dead. That was dumb. Can't afford to do that either. Charge is slow, but it does so much damage that it should work out. Oh, I hope this is the right way. I also might die. But I'm certainly doing a lot of damage. It's just I have a lot of issues. Fire rate, range. Uh, not having a worthwhile use item. I'm not charging fully. Okay, I need to save Gluttony for last. Because I need the items he's offering. The item he's offering, specifically. He didn't give it, but he gave me stuff for Dork Bum. Who promptly betrayed me. He's been a really big jerk this run. Should call him Jerk Bum. Try and work around it. So far, so good, I guess. Not dead in this room. Alright, I didn't even get to shoot there, but... I won that fight. Alright, and I'll go in there in a moment. Do we have a chance? Maybe. Alright, smart tactics would be play this. But... I'm impatient and I think that I can win. 
So at 40, I'm just blowing it up. Alright, what are you? The sun. That's useful. Oh yeah, don't mind me, Magic Mushroom. Uh, all stats up, 1.5 damage multiplier. Doesn't include a tears up though, so that's unfortunate. Anyway, uh, you know, I, I told you I was confident that I could pull it off. Oh, those were homing and I couldn't have told you that. But I also have a sun card that's um, going to fully heal me, red hearts wise. And it's going to do 100 damage to every enemy in the room. And give me the map for the floor, minus the top secret room. So we pulled it off. I was right. I, I only got hit like once past the thing. So the bowl cut had something nice in store for me. And that was good. Uh, that is going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.